So good morning everybody, Carlos here, taking you on an audio adventure here in stereo. This is the Ralston Trail, next to Ralston Creek. Very soon I'm going to take a left and cross over the Ralston Bridge. It's a little footbridge. Now I can see some chalk markings. The Hash House Harriers have probably been here. Maybe not the Hash House Harriers. So you could probably hear the water running off under the bridge here. This trail is 99% packed dirt. There's a little section of asphalt which I'm just going to run on next that leads past a little townhouse subdivision here, a ritzy townhouse subdivision. The kind of place where they tell you what color you're allowed to paint your garage door, that kind of place. Everything has to tone in with their concept of the neighborhood. Hang on a second. I'm going to unzip my jacket a little bit. Two reasons. One, it's quite warm and two, the uh, little fob from my zip is clicking. We don't really need to hear that. Nope, I don't undo it completely because then my jacket flaps around. Today, I must warn you, there will be long sections, long-ish sections, of me not talking. Now, some people would say, good. But I want you to get the ambient sound of this run. I have to remember to take a few photographs for the Relive video. I'll take one now. Average heart rate 118. Workout average pace 8 minutes 32 seconds per kilometer. Yep, first signs of water. Auto pause. As I put the phone back in my jacket pocket. There is an uphill coming up. Okay. 
it's quite undulating this trail it goes around what used to be a raised bog which eventually became a cranberry farm which was drained but back in the 18th century, the end of the 18th century or was it the 19th, anyway 1800 something I guess that would be the 19th century it was drained with uh, horses with modified flat shoes that uh, they used so they wouldn't sink into the bog just taking a sign signage photograph the classic signage photograph luckily they have replaced the sign because originally it was uh, kind of weathered a little bit of graffiti on it as well before now they've either just cleaned the glass or replaced the sign but it's looking nice and clean now you'll have to refer to the website for those these photographs or my relive page my relive flyby video It's a 3.2 kilometer loop. I found that out by researching Reddit's bog. That's how I learned about it being a cranberry bog, cranberry farm. After that, it became a farm for rearing raising thoroughbred horses one of which ended up winning the Grand National I think it was a horse called Broadmead which lent its name to this whole area which is now just known as Broadmead named after that thoroughbred racehorse I have to remember that it is it is all about the run today I feel well rested and well fueled had my porridge this morning and my coffee. I was trying to talk Norma into joining us, but uh, she has other plans today. She's uh, doing a stretch class for Zone 4. Talking of plans, I can tell you that at the end of this month I'm off to Mallorca, an island in the Med, part of Spain, the Balearic Islands. But we've rented an Airbnb with three bedrooms, large place, but I've invited my brother and his friend Hi there. I've invited my friend Alan Groom from Toronto. He's going to spend the first week with us. And then Pablo and Bill arrive. I'm not sure how they were getting to Mallorca, but I'm sure they could figure it out. Bill, I've known for literally 50 years more actually. 
he used to be a school friend of my younger brother and uh, they used to come over at the weekend him and a couple of other friends to jam I'm not very musical but they were and are much more musical than I am and uh, I used to sit in once in a while on the bongos which always used to make Bill laugh not sure why I don't think it was my bongo playing that made him laugh I think it was the serious look on my face as I was playing the bongos As they take another walk break, I think I heard zone five. You can probably hear the traffic noise building. I'm heading towards the duck pond and the Pat Bay Highway that runs parallel to Chatterton Way which skirts the west side of Rithitsbog. I'm going to post uh, some of these links to the information so you can read up but uh, after the stud farm and the uh, cranberry bog, they uh, sold the land. People tried to farm it, but it was unsuccessful. They reverted it back to its original state as a floating raised bog. And uh, the land was bought by the Guinness family. Yes, the Guinness family. The Irish beer making family. Another bit of signage from bog to farm and back again, it says here. I have to take a picture of the signs so I can read them later. Yep. Yeah, I noticed the word Guinness in there. So when I get home I will read up on that. more sound of running water. The next acoustic feature will be the road which is Chatterton Way and the ducks on the duck pond. Plus of course the the red wing blackbirds. They just love to nest in these trees. I think I heard zone three. So we're planning to do some hiking and some biking and some running and some swimming. We're going to be staying in a small 
slightly inland village called Polencha, Polensa. It's got one of those little question marks under the sea. P-O-L-L-E-N-C-A, Polencha, Polencha maybe, like Garçon, Polensa. Anyway, being part of the Balearic Islands, it inherited some of the ancient Catalan slash Valenciano language, which is still spoken quite broadly in the province of Valencia, which it relates to. I think it probably belongs to the province of Valencia. Valencia on Mallorca. I can hear the ducks. As I take another walk break, take a few photographs while I'm here. the duck pond at Rivetsbog. Hello. You feeding the ducks? Did you feed the ducks? We did. That was here already and we had some oats, so... Okay. Yeah. I would eat some... I would eat some... You're playing with the sticks? That's good. I used to do that when I was your age. Yeah, we're just breaking them into pieces. That's, that's nice. <laughs> They'll soon become earth. Yeah, you're helping compost. Yep, eventually that'll be ground and then plants will grow on it. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye, see you later. So I'm coming up to the other sign that mentions the Guinness family. I will take a photograph of that as well. Well, maybe not. Some birds have left a white mark on the sign. Well, I hope you're enjoying this so far. The ambient sounds from Rivet's Bog. I hear a woodpecker. It's over to my left. I'm not sure which orientation I have on my stereo microphones, but they are mounted on each of the top corners of my Sony voice recorder, and obviously depending which way I've put the voice recorder in its chest mount. Yes, I'm using the chest mount that I normally use for my camera or my phone. 
to hold my Sony digital voice recorder today. That way I have hands-free operation. The microphones remain the optimal distance from my chin at all times and hopefully there'll be little to no wind noise. Just as I stopped talking for the woodpecker, he stopped pecking. Up I climb. This is another little section of pavement, and then it goes rapidly back into trails. Now, if this loop is uh, 3.2 kilometers, and uh, as this is a full-time, real-time recording, 3.2 k at 9 minute pace is 3 nines of 27. So it's going to be less than half an hour, even if... I record right to the end of the loop, which is perfect for me. Hi, for my time frame. I've seen this woman again. She was running last time and I was walking. Now I'm walking. Now I'm running and she's walking. Hi, hello again. Hello again. As I step back onto the sidewalk. Take another walk break. Eight minutes 26. So that's fine. That's within my time frame for this 3.2 kilometer run. Zone 3. I've noticed that when I don't wear my earbuds, like today, when I'm recording with an open mic and the volume from my phone blaring from my pocket, that I tend to run faster because I don't hear the reminders when my zone changes into Zone 3. And then it takes forever to change back either to zone 4 or down to zone 2. So uh, zone 3 is when I tend to push the pace only because I haven't heard the transition from 2 to 3. So I have to, when I'm doing this kind of recording, I have to try and gauge it by feel. Zone something I heard there. Zone one I could imagine, but three sounds different from one. You see, that could have been zone three. And if I keep going, eventually I hear zone four. But it's not a bad idea once in a while to push just a little bit out of the comfort zone as they take a walk break. Zone three I heard clearly. This is Norma's blackberry patch. I will take a little picture of that, a little photograph of her blackberry patch and I'll take a little bit of video footage of me running hello Good morning. zone 3 
it means I should take a little break here. So I'm getting to the end of this loop now. I started before the 3.2 kilometer loop. Eight minutes twenty nine per kilometer. Three eighths of twenty four. Three halves. A one and a half. Hello. Hi, hey, doggy. Dog doesn't behave too well on a leash. Obviously, it's not used to being on a leash. But it is the rule here. This is an on-leash area. As I heard the woodpecker again. So I shall stop the recording in about a minute. So this is my opportunity to say bye-bye to you all. And thank you for listening. Please share and enjoy all my episodes. They are all almost exactly the same. I don't always make video podcasts. That would be kind of too predictable. As I close off the loop, this is where I say bye-bye officially and take a photograph of the Ralston Trail sign and the bridge in the distance where I started. Bye-bye.